In this video, we'll show a demonstration of an ulnar nerve block. An ulnar nerve block is helpful when there is significant injury to the hand or involving multiple digits. The ulnar nerve block is performed to provide anesthesia to the ulnar region of the hand. The distribution there involves the extensor and flexor compartment of, of the hand up through half of the ring finger and around to the pinky and the remaining portion of the ulnar portion of the hand. This is an excellent block for lacerations to the palm or the extensor surface of the hand in this region or a boxer's fracture. This could be performed traditionally as a landmark guided approach underneath the flexor carpi ulnaris tendon, but sometimes this can be hard to visualize uh, or palpate in certain patients. With an ultrasound, it becomes easy to identify the ulnar nerve. We'll start by looking at the ultrasound at the wrist. The ulnar nerve cannot be seen in this location. We'll slide the probe proximally and the ulnar nerve will show up next to the ulnar artery. You can see just by sliding a little bit that the ulnar nerve is already adjacent to the ulnar artery, but this is not a safe location to perform the block. We'll move more proximally such that the ulnar artery and the ulnar nerve separate from one another. At this location, the ulnar nerve and the ulnar artery are distinct from one another, providing a safe region for us to perform the block. The next step is to use a surgical marking pen to mark the spot at which the transducer is so you can come back easily and find your spot during the block. Next thing to do is sterilize the patient's arm. So what we're going to do now is discuss some of the equipment that you can use when doing the block. A nerve block needle, such as this one, can be used to easily guide the needle into place. However, the problem is that this requires a second operator for injecting of the anesthetic because the operator who is performing the ultrasound and guiding the needle doesn't have a spare hand to inject the anesthetic. In blocks performed in the forearm, because distances are less deep and more shallow, a standard 27 gauge needle of one and a half inches in length attached to a control syringe allows us for single operator oper operation and better control over the procedure. You'll notice that the positioning of the arm here is above the patient's head. The reason for that is to allow for easy access to perform the block. When positioned like this, the nerve can be visualized cross-sectionally and the needle can be introduced. And we like to do the needling here in, on an in-plane approach with a cross-sectional shot of the nerve. This allows for easy visualization of the needle as it approaches the nerve. Rather than having the needle inserted right where the transducer contacts the skin, oftentimes it's best to drop a centimeter or two in depth, depending upon where the nerve is visualized on the screen, and insert the needle there because that allows for the needle to come in straight for easy visualization. The goal is to surround the entire nerve by anesthetic, which then allows for full anesthesia to the distribution of the ulnar nerve in the hand.